My dearest Jeff, zero days. We're finally at zero days in our long-awaited countdown. In a moment, I can blink myself back to the Carnival Glory cruise ship in July of 2015 and see myself talking to you for the first time ever. Little did we know, several years later, we'd be standing here reading letters to each other on our wedding day. Oh, how God has taken the best care of us in all the time in between. I'm so excited to be your wife and to have you as a husband. We get to see each other into the presence of our Lord and Savior, our very own Creator. Whoa, smoking, open, holy smokes. <laughs> you are beautiful. So oh, beautiful, kid. You've outdone yourself. <laughs> Jeff may pass out. My favorite friendships are those in which I can be completely transparent. It feels so easy to talk. There is a joy in conversation, laughter in the present. This is rare to find, but so special to experience. This is how I felt when we first met. I was drawn into you, into conversation, laughter, loving being near you. This has only become deeper and more important as time went on. I found myself seeking those moments, the time I will always remember. One is taking those pictures on the cruise when I knew I liked you. Another is walking down to our picnic area when I proposed. I'll never forget the flow of joy, cheers, and happiness we experienced. That was one of the best moments of my life. Today will be a day like that. I won't be the perfect husband. I won't always love you like I should or lead you sacrificially like I can. I will let you down but I'm committing to try to lead us to someone who won't let us down, who won't fail, our Lord Jesus Christ. Candy Brook, I love you so much. And I'm going to say that God wanted to enter in with you watering the tree. <laughs> what God has joined together, let no one separate. Jeff, you may kiss your bride. I love and admire your soul, who you are. God has developed the kindness and gentleness in you as well as the strength when the time is required. God has given you a mind that is dedicated to truth and the knowledge of Christ. I sometimes can't believe I'm getting to marry such a beautiful and awesome woman. Ever since we were little girls, I've always considered Kendi my soulmate. My best friend, but also my soulmate. I was then super lucky to find my other soulmate, Sam. And now, Kendi, you found your soulmate. Jeff, and I couldn't be more happy for you guys. The closeness that you have in just becoming one is an amazing thing. Ephesians 4, 2 through 4 says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace.
love that you're always up for an adventure. I love your mischievous grin and the twinkle you get in your eye. But most of all, I love that God's placed us together. I adore you to pieces and I can't believe you're my handsome husband. I love you so much, your bride, Kendi.